Why GNL? Why? In a world full of guitars. Why am I so fascinated by these guitars over the last year of my life since I was introduced to them? Three reasons. Reason number one. These guitars are the final vision of the evolution of Leo Fender's electric guitars, the iconic instruments that he invented with George Fullerton, G, Leo, L. This is a big deal. This is a big part of American music history. This is the kind of thing that, as a guitar player, you want to know. You want to know what was in Leo's mind. After he sold his huge company and got out his soldering iron, went back in the workshop and started to dream of where those instruments could go. It's Most people have a conception of those instruments that's stuck in the 1950s, which is fine, but Leo wasn't that kind of person. He was a restless innovator. And so he took that stuff way beyond what was possible back then. That's reason number one. That's That alone is exciting to me because I want to know where he saw those things going in the future. And now I actually get to play those instruments. So that's, that's one right there. Reason number two. These are handmade small batch instruments made in Fullerton, California with the same equipment that Leo used. When you go there, you can smell the sawdust. It's an old school approach. You can see how they do it. Yeah. See, the excitement is contagious. I love the fact that you can go in there and you can you can see the block of wood, where it goes from there and how they sand it, how they paint it, how they put it together. It's all done with a very high degree of passion and the quality control is insane. So this is like, this is real American, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> it's American chutzpah is what it is. And it's hard to beat that. Okay, and I say that as a Canadian. Should we go over there? I say we should go to the bagel spot. Okay, ready? Yeah. This requires a bagel. Reason number three, they're awesome. The necks feel super comfortable and broken in. Everything comes from the factory feeling ready to go. You could go straight onto a gig. The setups are nice. As I said before, the quality control is there. Another thing is you don't want to change the pickups. When you get a GNL, you don't really have that much curiosity about swapping out a million kinds of aftermarket pickups because the, the GNL ones are amazing. They've actually invented what I consider to be some of the most amazing pickups available anywhere. And they're highly underrated until this video comes out the Z coils and then there's other little things that we'll get into over there like some little innovations and switches and things that you get on most GNL guitars that now I'm used to and I, I, I wouldn't want to part with but those are the three reasons the importance of Leo Fender's vision the small batch handmade vibe and the sheer awesomeness of the guitars which we will demonstrate forthwith here we are at the band cave. I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of the features on this GNL Doheny, which I love. First of all, the PTB circuit. Instead of just a treble roll off, we've got a treble and a bass roll off. So you get more tones out of the two pickups that we have. For example, here's a regular treble roll off. But now we can roll off the bass too and get real twangy. Now, if you go to the neck pickup, that makes a little bit more sense. Whereas if you go full out with it, you get a big, huge tone, which doesn't always work, but it probably sounds great anyway. Big difference. That's one example. Here's another. Let's say we get a high gain sound. It's nice to be able to roll off the high end to get a mid-range kind of a vocal vibe. But let's switch to the neck pickup. And here's with some roll off bass roll off. That's stanky. Ooh, it's an S500. This is an interesting guitar, which I've come to favor quite a bit because it has MFD. Is that correct? Yes, it is. MFD pickups. There's a lot of acronyms around here. Anyways, magnetic field design. These are a little bit of a wider range and a warmer version of the traditional single coil. I dig them a lot. 
So these are gonna give you some familiar tones with a little bit of added warmth. But with an added twist. This little guy right here, oh yeah. That is the expander switch, and a lot of GNLs come with that. So the expander switch does a really cool thing, which you would normally mod a three single coil pickup guitar to do, which is to eliminate the middle one and just hear the two outside pickups, which is what you would get on a Tele style guitar or a GNL ASAP. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Expander switch sound number two is all three pickups, and that is a very pretty. It makes me want to play light. It makes me want to whisper when I talk. Or play that scale. Every time I go to that sound, that's the scale I have to play. It's gorgeous! Pretty! Is that everything that you love about GNL there, JB? No! ASAP, semi-hollow, big, juicy, magnetic field design, jumbo single coil pickups that make you want to play big, loud stuff. These kind of pickups make you want to play greasy, rootsy stuff, so that's what I'll play. So why GNL? It should be obvious by now. We've got the Southern California classic Schutzba. We've got the innovation and the eye to the future and the, the evolution of the beautiful classics. We've got beautiful quality and a guitar that feels like a well-worn, broken-in pair of blue jeans. And Leo Fender, dude!